This is a short video tutorial on how to use Powtoon. So Powtoon is an online resource that you can use to create different styles of videos. If you wanted to go more animated or an infographic style of video, it allows you to do that. There are different price plans available on Powtoon. However, there is also a free plan that you can access and utilize to create your own videos. Um, it doesn't give you access to all of the content available, but I think there is enough available for you to create some great videos. So you could also sign up by logging in using your Google account or LinkedIn account or even Facebook account that you have. You don't have to create a whole new account for Powtoon. I've just logged in with my account details and here I'm going to have a look at uh, a template that I'm going to use. I don't suggest you starting with a blank Powtoon. I think start off with using one of the templates, get used to editing them, and then you can move on to creating your very own uh, Powtoon videos. So we're just going to have a look at what are the different templates available. So there's a category all, uh, maybe we want to go specifically to a teacher. And what you'll see is some of these won't be available unless you have a pro account, but many of them would be. So maybe we want to do something around facts about the earth. So if we want to use this template, we're just going to select it over here uh, and then we can start editing it the any way we like. Some resumes. Maybe you want to do something around your class rules or you want to do a teacher intro. Let's work with the teacher intro because it will allow us to play look around with the characters a little bit. Once you've selected it, it's going to take you to the and take you to your editing section. Okay, so this is what the template will look like. There are a bunch of different slides with different animations built into every slide that will transition to create your video. And you have two options here at the bottom to show you how every slide will play and then also how the entire video will play. So if I just select with this one. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I want to change. First of all, of course, I'm going to change this name. So I'm just going to double click there. I'm going to add in a name and you have a bunch of things that you can edit. You can edit the size, you can just type there too. Maybe I don't want that color, maybe I want it to be purple, and maybe I want it to be aligned a little bit differently. And maybe also this isn't what you look like and you want to represent yourself a little bit more realistically to your class. So you could just go there and swap all the different characters you have available. Maybe that's more like you. And maybe I don't like this background color either. Maybe I want to change that. There you go. Hello, Alice. And okay. So if we're happy with that slide, we can go to the next one. And maybe we are happy with that. Again, I think I would change the character here. Or maybe we take that out and we want to add something else here. I can toggle here between the edit and the create functions on part two. Edit allows you to edit what's part of the template and create will actually allow you to add in new features. So if I wanted to add in an intro, these are some of the options available. I'm thinking about a prop and let's say, okay, there we go, we've got a moving prop. What else could we do? Maybe we should look something like an apple. That sounds very much like I don't know, an Apple computer, just an Apple. Okay, let's add that in. Okay, 
So I've just added in this feature to the object. Uh, and you can see here at the bottom of the screen, it shows sort of the transition of how the slide is going to play the animation. So these two items are going to come in first, excited is going to come in next, and so on. And my apple is going to appear over here. I can move these items about in what Ever order I want and it will manipulate the time of the video or the timing of the object's appearance. So I could say that I want that apple to appear a little bit quicker. Okay and the other thing is that I feel that this slide is now a bit too long so if I want to reduce the amount of time that the slide will appear in my video, I can just go to reduce. And if I feel like I've reduced it too much, I can then add another section. And I can say why well, I want that section to be added. So you have a lot of flexibility here, um, however you want to do it. You can also delete some of these slides. So if you don't want that one particularly, you can take it out. You can add in different slides. So you can add a blank slide and edit it, or you're welcome to also duplicate the slide and add it back in. So you want to duplicate that one. And I'm just going to show you some of the other features that are pretty great in here I like working with. So you can change your characters, you can add in characters, you can add in titles and text. There's some cool text overlays that you can play with, text elements, infographics if there's anything specific that you want to do there, look at characters, different shapes, so some animated shapes you can play with. So it really adds in quite a lot of fun elements into your video. Let's add that one. That looks cool, right? Let's just make it bigger that it appears around the words. And maybe we want to take that guy out. And I think we need to make this a little bit more. And that's going to appear at the end, but let's see if we're happy with that. Maybe we want to change it. Okay, maybe I want that to be a bit longer. So we have all those little options. I also really like some of the video options and the image options available. So you can upload your own images over here, um, which will appear in this folder and you can continuously use, or you can access some free images. There aren't that many free images available, but uh, you can just do a search of something that you're interested in incorporating see what pops up and then add that in and again this is really cool you can change the size and what I sometimes like doing is just the transparency and you can layer it too so you can send it more to the back if you want to whatever you really want to do you can add that in um, and then I want to show you this cool feature with the videos, you can incorporate additional videos into your um, design. But I also really like the story blocks that you have available that are very short little clips of uh, different scenes that you can sort of paste together to create a more realistic type of video. So here we can see if you did something, anything geography related, maybe you want to add in little globe there and you could search for anything that you're interested in so maybe let's see what comes up okay so you can preview just what that's going to look like 
think I feel add in as my background. <laughs> So maybe I can just say that my background here is in science or whatever the case may be. So you can link all these little things together and you can create some awesome videos. There's lots to play around with. You can play around with the sound. So currently um, the sound or the song that's being linked to the video is Sunny Days. I could swap that out to something else. And here would be all of my options. And anytime you just wanna listen to what they look like, you could just select it. And if you're happy, you can use it. And it'll just swap out. The other thing that's pretty great is that you could also add in a voiceover. So for this particular slide, maybe, I wanna add a specific section. I just want it to be the current slide. Going to allow. My background is in teaching and I'm happy to see you all. My background is in teaching and I'm happy to see you all. I'm going to save that and let's call it welcome. So it's going to lay over on the slide and then you can see uh, that this voiceover for this particular slide will still have the song uh, as well as the voiceover and I can manipulate the sound if I don't want to break the tone, tone of the, the song playing. My background is in teaching and I'm happy to see you all. Yeah, that sounds good. And I've added that in. There's some special effects too, so for specific events that you can look at and play around with. That looks interesting. Looks great. So have some fun. I think it's a lot of fun to play around with Pal 2. You can create some great things. Um, and maybe a great idea is to just storyboard before you go to Powtoon for your creation, that you have a rough idea of what you're planning in your video. Anytime that you're ready uh, to now save your video and export it, you can go over here. Okay, so it's going to play your whole video. You can make sure you're happy. I'm going to export it. And this is sort of the, the, the bad part about not having a paid price plan account with Powtoon is that uh, the best way for you to get a high quality video export would actually be to upload the video onto YouTube. The only reason why I could download it as an MP4 is because I do have a price a, a paid account with them. So I'm going to upload it to YouTube. You can make it public, unlisted or private. It really doesn't matter. And you're just going to upload it, select the category and go through all these steps. As soon as your video has been uploaded and created on YouTube, you will receive the YouTube link to the video that you could then use in whichever way you want to. So that's Powtoon in a nutshell. Um, again, I challenge you, go and make a short video, 30 seconds. It's a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy your creation.